In this brief lesson, we'll examine the general strategy for tackling integrated reasoning questions on the GMAT. Now, as I mentioned in a previous lesson, integrated reasoning questions are very diverse. To begin, there are four question types, and the types of information in these question types can vary widely. In addition, integrated reasoning questions test a variety of skills. Some questions require math skills only, some require critical reasoning and reading comprehension skills, and some require a combination of these skills. Given the diversity of information sources and the required skills, it's impossible to have one strategy that effectively handles every question. Instead, we need a strategy that's specific to each of the four question types. So when you encounter an integrated reasoning question, your first step is to determine which of the four question types it is. Once you've done that, follow the corresponding strategy. In upcoming lessons, we'll examine the strategy for each of those question types.